Hey, Trey, you're known for your defense. Uh, mm -hmm. How about a word or two regarding Quan? And mm -hmm. he, he seems to play bigger than he is just because yeah. of his quickness and his reach and his leaping ability. Well, right, yeah. I mean, Quan is an incredible athlete. And uh, I mean, those two plays at the end, those the steals or deflections, whatever you want to call them, that, uh, that changed the game, to be honest. So. Uh, He's going to be, he already is a really good defender, but he's definitely going to be a terrific defender uh, down the road, too. You guys came into this posting two of your best defensive performances and looking at it statistically, 35% pretty solid with being out rebounded. That's great, but finishing out the game and coming back and getting the adrenaline flowing and finishing it out, how, do you, how does it all register now, considering that you're on a three game win streak and you had to work for this one? Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, it definitely wasn't pretty, uh, this win, but right now we're just taking it one game at a time. So whatever we need to do to get a win, we'll take it, whether it's nice, whether we got to score a lot, uh, defend. And uh, I'm just really proud of everyone today, just grinding out, being down at home, and really not having anything going our way, and to be able to fight back and get a win. Uh, it's nice, but uh, we just got to be ready for the next one on Tuesday, another big game. So. Did you how frustrating was that getting out rebounded, but, still, but being able to just fight through it and finish out the game on top? Um, I mean, it's incredibly frustrating. Uh, you know, Rooms and Sengfeld did a really good rebound. <laughs> Rooms enormous, and uh, I mean, it seems like he was just snagging everything. But to show to for us to come back and kind of overcome that, and you know, still find a way to win the game. I mean, you can't say enough about Quan's deflections at the end. He, he saved us, and um, to be at home, to have a sellout crowd, to, to go down, you know, 59-50, and then be able to storm our way back and you know make a great comeback. That just shows the resiliency of our team. And uh, I mean, I really think that we, you know, we're six and six now. So we're taking it as a completely new season. We're, we're at 500 in the league. Let's go win the rest of our games. I think this is a nice little building block for it. When you look at maybe oh, a week ago or two weeks ago when things seemed down, do you think this team, you mentioned resiliency, but does that have the same effect if it were last week compared to now? I mean, I think after every game, we're saying we got to stay focused. We, we we have a very veteran group, and I think that after every game, we've, we're preaching it's focused. We're on to the next one. I mean, right when you get in the locker room, we're talking about Davidson. We need to go out Tuesday and get a win. We need to have two great days of preparation, and we need to go out and get a win. It's uh, it's crucial that we do. I mean, that they're a very good team. They came in here and they beat us. We need to get a little revenge on them. They have uh, really good offensive players, which means you know we're playing well on defense now. We're really going to have to lock in that much more to uh, you know to achieve our goal. What kind of boost is it? You guys got outscored, eighteen to two on second chance points, out rebounded forty to twenty eight, and you still managed to win nineteen run, nineteen to eight run to close the game. What kind of boost do you get from that? Um, honestly, it just it shows you know we're we're a gritty we're a gritty team. You know what I mean? To I mean, in college basketball, it doesn't matter how you win as long as you have that W next to your name at the end of the game. And, you know, you're not shooting well, you are shooting well. You know, there are going to be nights like that. But at the, at the end of the night, you need to figure out how to win the game. And, I, and that's what we did. We just figured out how to win the game. It wasn't pretty. It wasn't how we, you know, thought it would be. But we won the game, and that's the bottom line. When you go into that final timeout, Trey, with mm -hmm. the defensive possession being key, I think you guys were up to getting that turnover. What, what was going through your mind? Did you get ready for that play knowing this is – potentially the game winning play if, if we get this. Yeah, we were just all focused on getting a stop. We just wanted to stop and uh, if they got a shot up, we wanted to get a rebound. So we were just preaching stop and rebound, stop and rebound. And uh, it really just came down to that.